Hello, all you spankos. I'm Nico. We are, today we are here at Chateau Debs. <laughs> <laughs> today I'm going to give you guys some tips and pointers on how to have a safe spanking. Now, I know a lot of people out there like wood paddles, and there's nothing wrong with a wood paddle. Except the only thing with problem with wood and leather implements, leather implements and wooden implements are porous. So, if you use a wooden implement or a leather implement on somebody and you break the skin, get any type of body fluids on it, such as blood or their other parts, <laughs> other fluids, that implement's pretty much useless. You can't safely or wisely use that implement on another person ever again. That's why I prefer th synthetic implements. Rubber, plastic, Lexan, acrylic. They're non porous surfaces and are a lot easier to disinfect. With a Lexan powder or anything synthetic, it's real easy to clean. You can either use bleach, which I wouldn't really use because get on your clothes, you know what that's going to do, or alcohol, where you can actually just wash it, put it right in the sink and wash it with hot water, or stick it in a dishwasher. Some of your leather implements are easy to clean too. You can clean them with alcohol. And even if you do contaminate a leather uh, product, there is a way to disinfect it. There's a couple ways to do it. You can use it with a steam pad, if you know what that is. Uh, Sharper Image just carries them. So it kind of looks like an iron, except it's got a little uh, screen pad on it. And you can just press it right down on the leather, and that will disinfect it. You can also disinfect it by either using a cloth and an iron over top of the leather and that will disinfect the leather as well or you can stick it in the oven now if you put it in the oven make sure it's com the, the product itself is completely leather if it's got a uh, a wooden handle or a plastic handle I would not would advise it because it's most likely going to melt you put it in the oven at 200 degrees for no more than 10 minutes and that will bake out anything that's on that uh, in the leather that if it's been contaminated. Also, I've had a couple people ask me why my leather implements are floppy and flimsy. Leather is just like skin, you just gotta keep it moist. Basically, leather, all the leather is is dead animal skin. And what you do, you get a product called Neat's Foot Compound or Neat's Foot Oil. Can you zoom in on that for me? <laughs> Fabian's Neat, Neat Foot Compound. And what you do, you just take your leather implement. Bring your camera over here, Deb. And what I do, I treat my leather implements usually about once or twice a year. You put it down in the in the oil, and you get both sides. You kind of massage the oil into the leather. It's kind of nasty. So if you don't want to get your hands, you're one of them prissies that want to get oil on your hands. You might want to wear uh, rubber gloves. You just kind of squeegee it off the off the leather. And you let this soak into the leather. What I normally do is I'll put it on a paper towel and wipe off all the excess. And then I'll stick it in a plastic bag and let it soak for a couple days. And I'll do this with all my implements. Just soak it right down in the oil. And you can reuse this oil. If you can't find the Neat's Foot oil, you can use mineral oil if you want. You can even be the use the expensive baby oil if you want to put that baby smell on all your stuff. <laughs> of course that's a like, really expensive way to do it because Neat's Foot costs about $12 for a gallon. You can get this stuff at uh, well if you're in the country you can get it at most of your general food stores, feed stores, any uh, stores that carry leather products like saddles, a big boot store might carry it, or like I say if you go to Fabian's they've actually got a, a website it's Fabian.com can you, I don't know if you can see it down or not. Can you see it? It's right at the bottom. Oh well. Yep, I see it. Okay. Just go to Fabian without the S dot com and you can probably order from them direct. Anyway, like I said, I treat my implements about once a year and I use mine quite extensively. So for the average person, if they don't use their stuff very much, probably won't have to do it very often. But you want to massage it into the leather, take it out and just let it soak. Now for wooden implements, there are, there are ways to protect your wooden implements if you guys are in the wood. 
There's nothing wrong with the wooden implements, but like I said, if you're going to be, uh, if you're someone who is a multiple spanker, you spank a lot of people, or if you're someone who goes to someone who spanks a lot of different people, and they're going to use wood, you want to make sure it's treated. You can treat wood with a lacquer finish. Now, I use my Jakari a lot, as some of you people have seen. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Debs knows all too well. Mm. I coat my lacquer metal with uh, a product called DEP, D-E-P. I put 10 coats of lacquer on this. <clears throat> when you coat your uh, your paddles, you got to take your time about it. You can't rush it. You, know, you, you put a light coat on, let it sit for about 45 minutes, and you, it's going to take you about a good day to get a, put a good coat on there. You don't want to rush it. If you try to rush, you can put a heavy coat on there and sit it out in the sun. It's actually going to destroy the finish. And sun, the sunlight will actually make the lacquer boil and put bubbles underneath the finish and then you're going to have to strip it down and do it all over again. So when you do coat your paddles with the lacquer, and it can be any type of lacquer, just depth seems to be the best product that I've come across. You don't want to rush it. You're going to have to take your time about doing it. I coat my paddles about twice a year. Now if you don't use it that much, maybe once a year. Also, like I said about disinfecting paddles, and leather, if it gets contaminated, it's pretty much a done deal. And you got to be safe about spanking, even though it's whether it's play or for real. You still got to be safe about it. There's too many skin-borne diseases that you can contract while playing with somebody. Let's see, uh, all three strands of the what? Hepatitis A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. Right? You got your uh, your strands of. Staph infection, MRSA being the worst one right now. If you contract MRSA, you're going to have to be on a heavy, heavy regimen of antibiotics to get rid of it. That's a nasty ass staph infection. You do not want to contract that, people. And for all you people out there like slippers, I suggest if you're going to have someone use a slipper on you, you do not let some fat bastard who's been walking around the house <laughs> with a stank uh. ass foot and a slipper take it off and beat your bare ass with it. Because that's like a mop top cocktail of bacteria and virus uh, born uh, diseases. So anyway folks, this is a little helpful tip for you guys. Like I said, get the neat foot oil. That will help make your, uh, your implements a lot more flimsier. And another added benefit is when you do soak it, it adds weight to the implement. So it gives it a heavier impact. Doesn't it, Debs? Mm. <laughs> it's, it's certainly not lacking. It's, it's certainly not lacking, that's right. So, that concludes today's lesson on treating your leather implements. Do you have any questions? Good! Have a nice day.